guys got it done here this morning. Uh, Rested in my yard right now. The camera ended up dying literally right after I had shot, and we didn't realize that we never checked the camera last night when we got it. We just we just took it with us and we opened it up this morning and only had 20 minutes on it or something like that. So we made do with what we had and. Yeah, that was actually the fourth day we've been down there this week. We've been down there all four mornings and we just could never get on a bird. We sat in four different spots and now today we finally were able to get the blind down there and set up in the middle of the field, got the Jake and Hen decoys out there and early a few hens pitched down and a couple of jades and then a couple of toms pitched down and they were out there fighting. We weren't able to film it because we didn't want to waste battery. We were waiting for, waiting for the kill shot and that didn't work out, so I guess we should have just filmed it anyways, but uh, it, was, it was a fun morning. I'd like to thank my brother. He's been with me all four mornings. I'm surprised he's been able to get out of bed. He complains about how tired he is, so. Only a couple weeks left here this season. I know the last season starts here in a few days, so we'll keep on the birds and stay tuned. Oh, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Go get him. This is the evening of May 23rd. It's the night before uh, six season opens up tomorrow in Wisconsin. And uh, I wasn't planning on getting the last uh, season tag until I drove by the farm this morning on my way to work. And there was a big strutter about 20 yards from Grandpa's barn. At about you know, 7.30 in the morning, so I was sitting at work thinking about, you know, where to set up and where he'd be, and there's been tons of birds out here all year long, so I've already shot two out here, 
but I mean, um, the pasture out here right now, they're just loving, they can pick bugs out of it, getting the cow pies and eat out of them, and they're just loving this pasture right now around Grandpa's buildings. So I figured, screw it, it'd be dumb not to do it, there's birds out here and just season's still open, so... So I'm out here trying to roost birds. I haven't had much luck trying to roost birds lately. It just the gobbling has has gone down way, way, way bad. And they're not gobbling on the roost after they fly up. They gotta be up in the tree by now, I would think. I just, I don't know. turkey woods I mean it's not even six o'clock yet and uh, I put my fourth bird of the year on the ground that's a uh, that's a personal best of mine I've shot three in three a couple years but you know I wasn't even considering getting a tag earlier in the week after getting a bird on Sunday but yesterday morning I had uh, drove by the farm on my way to work and there was a big strutter about 20 yards from my grandpa's milk house. And then I thought about it all yesterday, about if I should get a tag or not. And looked at the weather, weather was going to be decent, you know. It's nice and cool out, you know, for May 24th. It's a it's a it's actually a pretty nice morning to be out. That bird in the tree was just absolutely hammering. There's actually more than one um, gobbler in the in that roost over there. And I had actually been set up originally off the roost. I was set up across the valley through the pasture from him. And then I, at first gobble, I realized where he was. And I knew I could use the cover to my advantage to get out in front of him. And I knew they were going to do the exact same thing my first season bird did. I'm sitting in the exact same spot that I killed my bird first season. And that bird didn't die 20 yards from where that bird died. So... I mean that was 
five weeks ago, but I mean, if you could pattern birds and you know, birds are so patternable. He was in the exact same tree that bird was in first season. So I knew he was gonna do the exact same thing. He had to, but I mean, I could not be more happy. This is a big old long beard. He's actually, a, he's, he's a fighter, that's for sure. He's only got three tail fans, four tail fans here or tail feathers, but he has got some big old spurs on him. He's got a paintbrush of a beard. Wow, what a, what a, what a morning. Just, uh, you can't, you can't hesitate when you hear gobbles off the roost. You gotta go get them. I've always been very aggressive about, you know, making moves on birds to get out in front of them, especially on this farm. I know this farm, like the back of my hand. And thank God grandpa is been good to me over the years lets me come out and run all over his place and I am just uh, ecstatic right now and uh, just cannot be more happy who knows I might buy another tag later today and go out tomorrow morning for my fifth bird <laughs> oh man what a morning